Trip's doing another reacts. Got better microphone. We're watching 10 times Rich Cowan's face justice. This is gonna be fun. I need to get premium. I need to get premium. I'm tired of these adverts, but yo. In one way, uh, I don't wanna spend money on... I don't wanna spend money. I've already got Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus. Other memberships on different things, and now I got you, man. I'm on YouTube a lot, man, but it's just I never spent. Adulting is hard. It's true. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at infamous moments when wealthy people showcase their horrendous, entitled, and rude behavior, only to receive some much deserved consequences. It is so upsetting to know that today we still have this overt racism that's going on. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, it's still going on. It's never going to change. It's getting better over the years, racism, but it's always going to happen. Can't be delusional just to think, nah, we should quit racism. Racism is going to end and everything. No, it's not true. It's going to still keep going for a period of our lives. And I know, I guarantee, when I hit old age, it's still going to go on. It'd be better, but it's still going to go on. Nothing will change. Malibu Batty. In 2020, Natasha Lawson, a security guard for Pavilion Supermarket in West Hollywood, California, went to break up an argument between apparent wealthy Malibu resident Kashmir Duran and her father in the parking lot. Instead of Lawson sorting it out with no issue, Duran turned her wrath towards the guard. She spat racial slurs, bit Lawson's hand, and threw a glass bottle at her. Keep no, on using the N word. Like you nowhere. Duran was eventually dragged away by her dad and put into a car, probably hoping for a hasty exit. However, as witnesses had blocked them from leaving, she decided to utter more racial slurs. She gets a water bottle and she throws it at me and says, I said, get the F out of here. Duran was around. See, that's mad still. That is mad. It's never going to go away, man. As much as I want it to go away, it's never going to go away. Arrested for her terrible antics and was charged with two felonies of assaults. She opened her window and grabbed dog food and started throwing dog food at the security guard. Social. Wow, man. Some people are brutal. The world we live in. Light slurs. As this incident proves, money can't buy class. In 2018, Jacqueline Kent Cook, the daughter of the late sports team owner Jack Kent Cook, was in line waiting to get her coat from a restaurant in New York City. In front of the millionaire socialite was lawyer Matthew Habercord and his family. Impatient and high on her own importance, Cook voiced anti-Semitic slurs at the family. When Habercorn confronted her outside, Cook whacked him on the head with her $400 mirrored glass purse, causing him injuries, then claimed she acted in self-defense. <laughs> What? These rich people think they're bigger than every, everybody else. Nah, bro. Stay humble. Unsurprisingly, Cook was arrested for assault. She took a plea deal for disorderly conduct and was sentenced to three days of community service. She should have got more. Unforgettable holidays. Book your break at landor.co.uk. Millionaire thief. You don't get much more entitled than defrauding a retiree of their life savings. In 2017, an unidentified man met Florida's Peach Sturgo on a dating website. For the next four years, she told him about her supposed money issues with a fictional injury settlement and the bank, causing the concentration camp survivor to write 62 checks to her, amounting to $2.8 million. Sturgo used the cash to buy a new home, cars, and a lot of luxuries. With his life savings and having to give up his apartment, the victim confessed to his son what had happened in 2021. The indictment states she made the victim believe that her bank needed more money or her account would freeze and she'd lose it all. So what, she tried to finesse? <sighs> I don't know what to say about that. That's... Some people are mad. Sorry, I was messaging my missus. She got a mate. She was coming back later. So, perfect time to make videos. Soon after, Sturgo was arrested in 2023. She that face is very pleasant. She was sentenced to four years and three months. Had to forfeit her home. Four years and three months. 
She got four years and three months. If it was man like me, I know say I would have got more than 10 years, 20 years. It is what it is, isn't it? Oh, it is you. what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> and the good shit. Especially in the US, maybe in the UK too, where I'm from. But we live in a type of world like a lot of people get away with a lot of things. Let's just say that. He purchased and paid back what she stole. There's typically a sense of urgency and some reason why the money chain has to continue. Road rage racism. Melissa. Road rage racism, you know. I don't even drive right now, yeah, but I guarantee, yeah, <laughs> when man starts driving, I'm going to hear some. <laughs> I know it. I'm in my 30s, yeah, and I've heard some shit in my, in my life. I'm not going to go through it, yeah, but I heard some stuff. Most um, black people have, counting, you know, the Jews and... Well, everybody in it. Everybody has some racism in that. Even white people. I've heard some shit. I heard someone... <laughs> it's recently as well. Like, I work with my mate. How old is he now? He's only 17. I'm not going to say his name, obviously. But, yeah, he told me a story that basically... He's white, but he was he got called a n He got called the N-word. Like, it's probably because of the clothes that he's wearing. Because he is wearing world man type of clothes. You know what I'm saying? In general, racism out of nowhere. You just get it for no flipping reason, just because what clothes you're wearing or the skin that you have on your body. <laughs> I find it outrageous, man. We're all humans. Where's the love? Gutnick did the stereotype of Audi drivers no favors in 2018. After getting treatment at a hospital in Vallejo, California, Marshante Ferris was being driven home by her boyfriend, Shamik Shepard, on I-80. Instead of a calming journey, they spotted Gutnick driving recklessly. I switched lanes and then I just seen her speed up from the rearview mirror and I see her swerve into the next lane, but I wasn't thinking nothing of it. After trying to avoid her car by switching lanes, she cut them off. When their car got side to side with Gutnick's, the Karen rolled down her window and screamed abuse at the couple, including some racial slurs, which were filmed by Ferris. After the clip was put on social media, and Gutnick was identified, she reportedly lost her high-paying job at an investment banking firm. See, was it really worth it, though? Was it really worth it? I remember a few stories of these footballers. If you're from the US, you know, football, soccer. Not footballers. Um, football fans. These football fans spread in abuse to the football players. They're not allowed to come to games. People are losing their jobs. People are losing their jobs over this. Is it worth it? Is it really worth it? Come on, man. Grow up. <laughs> it made me upset. Like, if anybody has seen the video, like, I was kind of shocked that she went along and said that. Broker brawl. After a night on the town, broker Dina Huang Chiung got a taxi back to her hotel in Singapore in 2016. Instead of paying the driver, the drunken Huang attempted to leave, prompting the employee to hold on to her handbag. Yo! <laughs> After some back and forth involving Huang berating and hitting the driver, he got help from a security guard. However, Huang continued to verbally and physically assault the pair during her rampage. But she didn't want to... She didn't want to pay. What? And she's rich as well. She's a, she's a rich Karen. What the hell, man? I don't know what to say about this, man, because... Just humble yourself. All these rich people need to humble themselves. Feed the poor, man. You got bare money. You don't want to give it to the poor. You want to help yourselves. Nah, I know it's easy for me to say. I know it's easy for me to say, but nah, help the poor. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Nigga. Help me. Including biting the guard and bragging that she had money. Are you wait, don't be. When things cooled down, the police found Huang sleeping outside the hotel's restaurant. In 2018, she was sentenced to three weeks in jail for her escapades and fined around $752. Yeah, that's minor for her. <laughs> Guarantee she paid that. Guarantee she paid that, obviously. Modern day slave owners. It Modern day slave owners. That's still a, that's still a thing. 
doesn't get more entitled from a Karen than trying to own a person. And that's exactly what millionaire couple Mahender Subnani and Varsha Subnani attempted at their home in Long Island, New York. The perfume maker- Wait a minute, why am I surprised that there's modern day slave owners? There's still human trafficking going on. Am I dumb? That's terrible, man. What's going on in the world? Workers had subjected two Indonesian housekeepers to horrible conditions. Their crimes came to light in 2007 when one of the women escaped and got help at a nearby donut shop. After the couple's arrest, Varsha's mother reportedly attempted to bribe one of the victim's family to drop the charges. In 2018, Varsha, who was deemed primarily responsible, was sentenced to 11 years in jail. Mahender was sent down for a little over three years and fined $12,500. Wealthy Threat on a night in 2015, road worker Bernard Armstrong was standing by his truck on the shoulder of the North Central Expressway in Texas. As Nicole Hutchison drove home after apparently drinking at a restaurant, she struck the truck with her Mercedes and then fatally hit Armstrong and crashed into a freeway wall. Damn. When the police arrived to arrest her, Hutchison told them she was wealthy and that they would regret this. During her police... What? When the police arrived to arrest her, Hutchison told them she was wealthy and that they would regret this. During her police interview, she asked numerous times about her dogs in the vehicle and did not display any concern regarding the crash or victim. She eventually took a plea deal and was sentenced to 10 years in jail in 2018. After serving a little more than a year, Hutchison was released on parole in 2019. Subsequently, she founded the Rusty Diamond Network, a foundation to aid incarcerated women. Student Kyla Spring was working as a desk clerk at a dormitory for the uni oh, is this a racism thing again? University of Kentucky when a very intoxicated Sophia Rosing entered the building. As Spring asked to see her ID, Rosing launched into a verbal and physical attack on her, using racial slurs repeatedly. Can you stop, please? No. The police soon arrived. However, Rosing claimed her wealth gave her special status and kicked and bit them before the cuffs were slapped on. Why do you people think they can get away with this just because you're rich? Why do you people think that their shit don't stink? If I ever, which is not a possibility, but if I ever get rich, there is no way I'm ever gonna be like that. Never ever gonna be like that. And if I do, shit, you can slap me. This isn't the first time Rosing has been filmed being drunkenly combative, bragging about how rich she was and mocking others for not being as wealthy. Slap the shit out of me if I ever end up being like that. Humble yourself, man. Humble your f***ing self. Yeah, you can have all that money. Doesn't mean anything when your personality is dog shit. Doesn't mean anything when you don't even use the money for your right cause. Like helping the poor, easy for me to say. Giving to charities that actually work. You know, investing in businesses. It's just a shame, man. Just because you're rich, you think you're better than everyone. Not everyone. I'm sure there's some rich people are safe. Fortunately, it's the minority. The university released a statement that Rosing had been permanently banned from their campus. In 2023, Rosing was criminally indicted on several counts, including assaults. I did not get paid enough for this. Exactly. Not so fabulous, Karen. Sisters Lisa and Mary Garris were waiting for AAA in the parking lot of Lisa's apartment in Charlotte, North Carolina in 2018. Then an intoxicated Susan Westwood decided to get involved. After questioning why they were there, she told them she was white, hot, and fabulous and bragged about her $125,000 job. I don't care if she's drunk. I don't care. I, I don't, I don't care. I don't care if she is drunk. I don't care if she's frustrated, angry. I don't care if you're black and white, if you're Asian and everything. You can be blue and... <laughs> no, all jokes aside, I don't give a F. Humble yourself, man. Humble yourself. I'm white and I'm hot. So what are you doing here? Please I'm still going to make $125,000 Monday morning. Who are you? Westwood all... What's wrong with people? I'm not buying an orange. I'm just taking off the skin. That's how I buy it. What's wrong with these people? What the is wrong with these people, man? My kids are not going to end up being like that. If they turn out rich from a sick job, I'm making sure that they have their... What's the word? 
forgot the word is out of my head now. Have their priorities straight, have morals, yeah. Have morals to know not to speak to anyone like that. I don't give a F if you're drunk. I don't give a F if you're frustrated, like I said. It's not, it's not right, it's totally unacceptable. And um, once again, if I ever get rich in my life, slap me if I, well, if I turn a dickhead, isn't it? Also threw in multiple insults with racial overtones and shoved her phone in their face. When she left, Westwood falsely called the cops to tell them the sisters were breaking into cars. Yikes. Folks that are trying to break into apartments, they are actually people that I've never seen here before, but they are African-American. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's nothing new, though. Nothing new. Teen, she was sentenced for misuse of 911 and assault, receiving a year of probation and court costs. On top of ha -ha. that, Westwood was fired from her lavish job ha -ha. and was evicted from her apartment complex. Ha -ha. We are so distraught and still very upset about what has taken place only because of the color of our skin. Before we continue... What a pagan. What a pagan. And it's still going to keep going. Guarantee I'll still be reacting to this when I'm like 50 on and racism is still happening. If people think it's going to end, you're delusional. I would love it to end too, but like I said, it's not going to happen. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our late... Yeah, subscribe to Watch Mojo still. They do some content. They, they do. They do. Realtor Rage. It's weird how Karens like to worm their racist way into situations in parking lots. Cool. Indeed. Go back where you came from and she used some harsh words. It why is it, for every racist here, why is it, why is it always the same sentence? Go back where you came from. Go back where you came from. Especially in America. Where are you from, really? How dare you say, where are you from? When you don't, you probably don't even know where you are from. You're European, mainly. Disrespectful, contradiction, piece of terrible. In 2022, four Indian American women were leaving a restaurant in Plano, Texas, when realtor Esmeralda Upton popped up. Without warning, she ranted about how much she hated Indians, uttering slurs along the way. What have they done to you? What do you mean? That's outrageous. Mm. Upton even got physical with one of the women who was recording and threatened the group with fatal violence. Oh my god, guys, record! She's hitting me! When the cops arrived, for some reason, Upton mentioned she lived in a $1.5 million house. Listen, take the money, take the money off these rich people, these racist rich people, yeah, and invest it into schools. Invest it in some charities that work and as though that would get her off scot-free. It didn't, as she was arrested the next day and charged for her threats. No. To make it worse for Upton, she also faces not one, but two lawsuits by the victims. No. Delightful. Which wealthy celebrity gives off Karen vibes? Let us know below. Everyone. Who are you? The moral of the story is, don't be a Karen. Don't be a racist Karen. <laughs>